Okay, some of y'all might remember that Dad I gave me a whole lot of this nice red material a while back, and he said that he had uh, some little eye hole things, and he gave me this box full of them and this tool to put them in with. And I've been experimenting around with the tool, and one of the things he told me is that this these things probably won't go through that material because that material is too tough. I put one through here just as a test on this piece of foam stuff and it worked real good once I figured out how to do it. So it seems like what I need is a, uh, a punch and I remember my dad, my dad worked in the upholstery business and I remember he had a punch that was probably made just for this but I don't know if it's down in his stuff down in Georgia or if I ever brought it home or what. But I've been trying to find the right piece of pipe to make my own little round punch to be able to punch a hole that size in a piece of this so I'm still looking for the right piece of pipe I haven't found it yet but I'm gonna continue my search when I find one I'm gonna try to make a punch to punch a hole in this in order to put some of these eyes in I'm not so much trying to do anything with it today except learn how to use it and because I'm thinking once I learn how to use it there's probably a lot of nice places to use it if that makes any sense a lot of nice things I can do with that tarp if I had some of those little eye holes in them so I'll keep looking for some of that oh I might have found just about the right thing this is an old steering shaft that I ran across out in the metal pile and if I tape and sharpen this down I believe that is just going to be just about the size of that so I can sharpen this edge and sit a piece of this on a flat piece of wood and use that for a punch hit it with a hammer and hopefully cut a round hole I'm going to get my grindstone out and work on it a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Well, I suppose while I'm working on something that came from Dad, I can use this too. He gave me this a while back. I was over there and he had a couple of them sitting in the yard. And he said, if you want one of them, take it home. It's a nice little grinding wheel. Looks like the switch is froze on it, but you plug it in, it takes right off. And, uh, you know, Dead Eye's that kind of guy. He's so nice. You go over there and you see something you like, he's liable to just give it to you. Here, put that in the back of your truck. Take it home with you. It's kind of how this came to be. So I think I'll use that to sharpen up my steering shaft. And then uh, I'm going to try cutting a few holes with it and see how that goes. I guess I'll move this can of gas. So I have found that if you're going to make sparks, it's probably not the best to have a can of gas right near. But Well, that grinder did a real nice job of sharpening that up there. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it. So, I'm going to take a little test piece here. Let's set up here. This uh, piece of wood. And get me a hammer. And see if I can poke a hole in that. And if I can, let's see if we can set one of those... Uh, those eye things in it. Let's see if this hammer will work. Ain't the best hammer in the world, but let's give it a try. Mmm. Take more than that. I need to hit it a little harder. Probably need a better hammer. Yeah, the head's gonna fly off this one. Well, I tell you, that's some tough stuff right there. Mmm. It is. Wow. You know what else might work? That ain't working too well. Might work to heat. Yeah, maybe I can sharpen that some more. I'll try sharpening it some more. Mm. 